Today I will show you how you can get the best FPS on Apex Legends for low-end PC on Windows 11. But before, subscribe to the channel, like the video, and follow me on Instagram. First open Steam. Go to Apex Legends. Right click on it, press on Properties. Go to General. Then here on the Launch Options we have to paste a command. Copy it from my description, right click, paste it here. Now let me explain what these commands mean, minus high. This command will set the game's priority to high, it will increase your game's performance, minus preload. This will in turn preload various game assets at the start of the game which will increase your overall performance if you're using a low graphics card, plus FPS max zero. This will uncap your frame rate when setting its value to zero, minus novid. This will skip the game's intro every time you launch it, minus full screen. This lets you change the game's window mode using launch options, minus refresh. Set this to the refresh rate of your monitor to force it to run the game with the same refresh rate, plus CL show FPS 1. This command will show your frame rate while playing the game, plus exec auto exec. This enables you to run an auto executable file with additional commands before launching the game, and minus DX level 95. This will in turn allow the game to use Dirt X9 to reduce the load on your GPU. When you have done that, go to Local Files. Press on Browse. Close this page. Minimize Steam. Scroll down to our 5 Apex. Right click on it. Press on Show More Options. Then press on Properties. Here you have to go to Compatibility. Check Disable Full Screen Optimization. Then go here to change high DPI settings. Check this box. Then press OK. Press Apply. OK. Close Files. Open Apex Legends. Go down here to the Game menu. Press on Settings. Here you have to go to Video. On the Display Mode, select Full Screen. Aspect Ratio, select 16 by 9. Resolution, select 1920 by 1080. Brightness, select 50%. Field of view, select 100. FOV ability scaling, select disabled. Sprint view shake, select normal. Vertical sync, select disabled. Nvidia reflex, select enabled plus boost. Adaptive resolution FPS target. Select 100. Adaptive Super Simpling, select Disabled. Texture Streaming Budget, select None. Texture Filtering, select Bilinear. Ambient Occlusion Quality, select Disabled. Sun Shadow Coverage, select Low. Sun Shadow Detail, select Low. Spot Shadow Detail, select Disabled. Volumetric Lighting, select Disabled Dynamic Spot Shadows, select Disabled Model Detail, select Low Effect Detail, select Low Impact Marks, select Disabled And Ragdolls, select Low Then press here on Apply Press on Back Press again on the Game Menu Press on Exit to Desktop Press Yes. Do you need to go to the Start menu, then go to Settings. Go to Windows Update. Press on Check for Updates, and follow the steps to be up to date. Then go to System. Go to Display. On the Night Light, select Off. Then go to Advanced Display. Choose a Refresh Rate. Select the highest hertz you have on your monitor. Then go back to System. Go to the Notifications. On the Notifications, select Off. Go back to System. Go to Focus Assist. Select here Off. And down here on during these times, select Off. Then go back to System. Go to Power. Here on the Power Mode, you have to select Best Performance. Go back to System. Go to Storage. On the Storage Sense, select Off. Then go to Cleanup Recommendations. Select this two if you want to delete them. Press on Cleanup. 
and press on continue. Then go back to system. Go to multitasking. On the span windows, select off. And on the title bar window shake, select off. Go back to system. Go to remote desktop. On the remote desktop, select this to off. Go back to system. Go to clipboard. On the clipboard history, select this to off. Then go here to the personalization. Go to background. Here select picture or solid color. Do not select slideshow. Then go to apps. Go to apps and features. Here you have uninstall all the apps you no longer need by pressing on this three dots and uninstall. Then go to gaming. Go to Xbox Game Bar. On the Xbox Game Bar you have to select this to off. Go back to gaming. Go to captures. Record what happened. Select off. Capture audio. Select off. And capture mouse. Select off. Go back to gaming. Go to game mode. On the game mode you have to select this to on. Then go to privacy and security. Go to general. Here you have to select all this to off. Then go back. Go to speech. Select this to off. Go back. Go to inking and typing personalization. Select this to off. Go back. Go to diagnostic and feedback. Select this to on. Then go back. Go to activity history. Uncheck this box. Go back. Go to searching windows. Here select this to off. Select classic. And we are done with the settings. Now go down here to the search bar. Type task. Press on task manager. Here you have to go to startup. Now here you have to disable all the application you don't want to run in the background when your computer starts. Then close the page. Go again to the search bar. Type optimize. Press on the fragment and optimize drives. Select your C drive and press on optimize. Then go to the other drives you have. First press on analyze and then optimize. Go again to the search bar. Type run. Press on run. Type here temp. Press OK. Press continue. Select all these files and delete them. Then go here again. Type percent temp percent. Press OK. Select everything from here and delete them. Go again here. Type refresh. Press OK. Press continue. The same select everything from here and delete them. Go again to the search bar. Type performance. Press on adjust the appearance and performance of windows. First check adjust for best performance to uncheck all this. Then check custom. And check smooth edges of screen fonts. And show thumbnails instead of icons. Then press apply. And OK. Now you have to be up to date with your video card driver, so if you have NVIDIA go to this website, and select here your specs from the video card. Then press on search. Press on download. And download again. Now if you have the AMD video card, go to this website, select here your video card you are using. Then just press on submit and follow the steps to be up to date. And that's all you had to do. I hope you found this useful. Don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next episode. Bye.